Hey guys, uh, this is Normal for Technique, and today we'll see how to create a personal hotspot on your Motorola Moto G. So, personal hotspot allows you to share the internet connection, the 3G connection uh, on your Moto G uh, to other devices. So, if you're traveling uh, and you have 3G coverage on your Moto G, you can actually share the connection uh, to other devices namely the laptops or other mobile phones tablet etc so that's pretty handy feature to have on a smartphone so most of the android phones have uh, this feature so portable uh, hotspot or uh, sharing the internet connection is available by default and android so let's see how to set it up on the moto g so to get started uh, just uh, swipe from the notification bar and click uh, the settings so click this icon then uh, click settings you can also go from the apps list to settings now you can see under wireless and networks uh, click the more icon so under the more wireless and networks you can see the option uh, uh, tethering and uh, portable hotspot so just click this option now under this option you can see portable Wi-Fi hotspot so you need to select this option before you can start sharing your po um, internet connection so click this uh, icon and you can see the portable hotspot uh, is active now you can see on the top uh, the personal hotspot is active so you just scroll down and you can see you can see here hotspot is active so you can test to set up now if you want to set up uh, the personal hotspot uh, SSID and the password you can set it up from here so you can see here the icon uh, set up Wi-Fi hotspot so click this and you can see the current SSID uh, and uh, the security as well as the password so you can uh, uh, select show password and see the current password and then you can change it in case you want to change the password so that's how you set up the personal hotspot now once you set up uh, you can click uh, save and uh, you can see that uh, this uh, hotspot will be active so if you scan uh, another device um, for Wi-Fi you can see this uh, uh, hotspot by the same name uh, what we saved here you can see the name as uh, XT1033 9320 so you can change the SSID here so if you have uh, selected uh, your personal SSID you can see that uh, active as the personal hotspot on um, other devices when you scan using the Wi-Fi connection so that's how you set up a personal hotspot on Moto G and uh, you need to have a 3G connection for good uh, internet speeds. You can also do uh, USB uh, sharing of internet so you can you need to connect uh, you can see the first option here it's actually uh, not visible here because uh, it's not connected to USB. So if you can see here um, USB tethering uh, USB not connected so in case you're connected to USB um, uh, USB um, cable you can share the internet connection using USB and this is much faster and the good advantage of using USB is that it will charge your phone as well while uh, the connection is active so it, uh, it serves dual purpose like whenever you tether the connection it will take up a huge battery and uh, using the USB uh, connection will allow you to charge your phone as well as use the personal hotspot so if you have the USB cable uh, you can uh, share using internet using USB as well but it won't be it will be available only to the device connected using USB mostly the laptops but if you want to share the internet connection to other mobile devices uh, portable Wi-Fi hotspot is the better option so that's how you create a, a personal hotspot on a Moto G so if you have any queries with the, the, this video uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like the video hit the like button uh, subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching this video